Erev Tov, Chavri I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about this evening, and it looks like on this teaching, I'll actually have to wait till tomorrow before I can get to it. Uh, we've got big issues going on with Lebanon, and of course, it's been in the news for quite some time. Uh, we've been dealing more with uh, prophetic things that are happening, looking at biblical insights, uh, and, and what we are facing in uh, this new world order that is certainly um, in a very rapid movement right now. Uh, anyway, the Times of Israel is reporting two different articles here. One, uh, Nasrallah says response to the drone attack has been is decided Israel must pay a price. This is according to the Times of Israel. It says Hezbollah chief allows, uh, also denies his terror group has precision uh, uh, missile factories calling claims lies to justify uh, Israeli aggression. Uh, Hezbollah chief Nasrallah said, made this uh, statement uh, just uh, just recently here, and it's, he said it's about establishing the rules of engagement and the logic of protection for the country. He said in a televised speech, adding that Israel must pay a price for the assault. His comments came in a speech to supporters uh, Saturday night, a week after the alleged Israeli drone crash on the roof of Hezbollah's media office in southern Beirut, while another exploded and crashed nearby. Uh, also, uh, the Times of Israel reporting here that IDF sends artillery to northern border as tensions with Hezbollah rise. So Israel also getting ready for a possible confrontation with Hezbollah inside of Iran. And, uh, and it seems that, that more and more these types of uh, actions are being prepared uh, in order to make way for more land in what I consider to be a coming new world order. You ought to look at the book called The Jewish Utopia, if you can even find a copy of that. Uh, these, you know, we have almost every source we have uh, that we use in our own research is written by Jews. Uh, Jewish people, Jewish uh, whether they be Orthodox or former Orthodox or whatever, we use a lot of research on this type of information. Also, uh, MEMO, they are reporting that Israel, the, uh, the uh, general said, we can target Iran inside its territory. That's uh, from uh, General Katz, or excuse me, the foreign minister, Yisrael Katz, has said that Israel is able to strike Iran everywhere, including deep inside its own territory. In an interview with Israeli newspaper uh, Ma'arev, Katz said that Israel would strike Iran whenever necessary, regardless of the location of the strike. Uh, Shihab News Agency reported yesterday, the situation is a war among wars, and we are uh, the only country which works against Iran. Kat said, adding, we publicly took responsibility for the strike in Syria to demonstrate to Iran that it, is no, uh, that it has no immunity anywhere. Boy, doesn't that really make you want to stop and say, who can make war? <laughs> You're going to be surprised. You're really going to be surprised. You got to trace that serpent. You got to trace where that devil uh, that has come down. This, this, listen, this is not about my Jewish brothers and sisters. We have some wonderful Jewish people that love God, love people, love our neighbors as well. Uh, but there are so many that are just really dumbed down uh, by what's going on with these uh, elite circles. Another thing that I caught, this came out a couple of days ago, and actually I've kept it up on my computer the last two days wanting to share this with you guys. Wisconsin workers embedded with microchips. USA Today uh, was reporting about this. And I'll actually put the video up here so you can see this. Uh, the workers volunteering to, to have this done, uh, inserting this little rice grain size uh, microchip where they can use it just like their telephones that they use for purchases and things of that nature there, and also uh, for being able to access ingress, egress on the company that they were working for. Uh, so I'm like, geez. Well, this stuff's moving rapidly, right? A local firm uh, here made good today on its vow to embed employees with microchips, sporting, uh, uh, sporting I Got Chip t-shirts, some 40 workers at Three Square Market, a firm that makes cafeteria kiosks aimed at replacing vending machines, got tiny rice-sized microchips embedded in their hands, 
Company officials said it was a convenience, a way for them to bypass using company badges and cooperate, or excuse me, co uh, corporate logins to computers. Now they can just have their hands read by a reader, similar to using the smartphone to pay for goods. The company would like to see payments go cashless as iPhone users do with Apple Pay, except in this case, consumers use their hand instead of a smartphone to pay. It's coming, right? It's coming. What can we say? We all know it. Uh, the only reason we even have cash left in this world is because we're watching these big mega giant nations out there and some small nations out there, in fact, trying to uh, have to finance all these jihadists to blow up the rest of the world. Blow them up into submission, maybe maybe that's what it is. At any rate, I'm Steve Benoon. Uh, you're watching Israeli News Live. Also want to thank someone, I forget, I forget the name, I just happened to breeze through the comments. Someone said that the death toll in Texas is up to five, including three police officers that were shot. Uh, in this, uh, this shooting, it seems to me to be more than likely, it's not just a, a hoax shooting, it's just somebody went on a, uh, what do you call that, mad cow disease type of shootout. Uh, but anyway, we certainly uh, are concerned for those that were shot, uh, for the families that lost loved ones as well. Uh, our, our hearts go out to those families. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.